Hi guys, Electrosats here. I'd like to present to you a new YouTube series I'll be working on, Time to Improve. In this series, I'll be covering multiple topics that range from beginner's advice to advanced mechanics that in my opinions are crucial to improve at the Beat Saber. Some examples of the subjects we'll cover are controller settings, timing dependence, and swing smoothness. As a side note, my one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions are still available for purchase. Feel free to check them out in the description below. Anyways, let's get right into it. One of the most common beginner mistake I have noticed is the misconception that swinging harder gives you better accuracy. You do not need to swing fast to get the full 70 points for the beef workout score. It is actually a lot easier to get higher accuracy by swinging smoothly and keeping control of your sabers. Changing controller setting is not a bad idea, if done properly. One mistake that I see is when people crank their position Z all the way up to 10cm. Such a large position Z will actually cause your swing to be very unstable and inaccurate. So it is better to keep that value as close to zero as possible. If you want to know more about controller settings, I made my own guide that explains how they work. The link will be in the description below. Another mistake is playing with the wrong player height. Playing with a slightly lower height can help you save energy, but lowering it too much can make the bottom row nodes harder to cut accurately. You can adjust your height according to the type of map that you're playing. For accuracy, I suggest using a higher height to make those bottom row nodes easier to hit. For speed, a lower height will make it way easier for you to reach those top row nodes and increase your stamina. I noticed that a lot of newer players don't focus on perfecting their performance on easier difficulties. Instead, they immediately attempt the hardest difficulty and subsequently fail the level. Before doing that, make sure you learn the fundamentals of Beat Saber. Learn how to score properly, play something that is just slightly above your skill level and don't go overboard. This way, you will see improvement much faster, and you will have an easier time passing harder maps after a decent amount of practice. I am sure that most people try to avoid underswinging at all costs, but by trying to do so, they will swing far more than necessary. Too much overswing is just as bad as too much underswing. An exaggerated amount of overswing will make you lose control of your saber and make it way harder to get the full 15 points for accuracy. For reference, those 15 points are significantly more important than the difference between a 69.8 and a 70 points for a full pre-swing. And that's it for the first episode of Time to Improve. I hope you guys enjoyed that quick video, and if it helped you, click that like button and subscribe to my channel to see more of my content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video of Time to Improve. Peace!